Now, I don't know how Shazam has been doing this well against Genghis Joe in this matchup, because it's pretty bad for Terry. But I did just turn Katoon in to see that Genghis Joe absorbed three power waves and was able to get a bucket afterwards and even up the game incredibly quickly. That's really unfortunate for Shazam. Wow. But it's all right. Oh, wow. Pirate Perry is the Buster Wolf. Uh, I mean, sorry, Buster Wolf. Burn Knuckle. I get my I get mixed up. <laughs> I'm a Terry player. How am I messing it up? All right. I like that crap shoot out of disadvantage. All right. It seems like Shazam's being playing pretty patient, which is good in this matchup. If you uh, force the uh, force your hand too much against against uh, against Game Watch, he's definitely going to exploit you. And good stuff with the, with the edge guard. Man, Shazam just had the whole game. And then the one thing he slipped up on in the matchup was just power wave is just not it. He gave bucket to Dingus Joe and was able to, and because of that, he was able to take the stock at an incredibly early percent. It's kind of easy to autopilot power wave, but it's a slow projectile that's pretty reactable. It's kind of all right for slowing down your opponent's approach, but it's, or can in conditioning, but against Game Watch, it's, the, 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 that game is not something you can play. It doesn't matter. Like he's not. There's no conditioning game watch. He's just uh, with with power wave. He's pretty much going to just go for the bucket every time. All right, man, just get out of the way. Jukes, Mixy Wixies between his uh, mobility options in the air, good use of the side B and the power dunk. Oh, but he's gonna get close to down smash, buried, and that's gonna be the stop gone before he can even get close to to getting uh, his uh, supers. So now another power wave. Oh wow, it fills up two. That's even worse. So now you get. It's not even three power waves that fill the bucket. It's two. Now, yeah, now, uh, Terry has no real way to really land effectively against Game & Watch. We're seeing here. I think it's Joe. He's also um, not actually uh, SDI in these uh, power dunks. He's going, Shazam's doing some heavy power dunks. Oh, wow, it's back air. He has his jump. Okay, charge rising tackle. He doesn't tech. The intangibility was not able to cover his full body by that point. His full body intangibility at the start and then only the, uh, the legs at the very end of the move. So yeah, down. We're seeing a reverse at the first game. Three stocks down to one. And with a character like Game Watch with such incredible defensive options, it's looking to be dire for uh, Shazam. It's going to be a lot harder for him to make this comeback than it was for uh, Dingus Joe to make the comeback with the bucket last game. Because now he's got to... But it's not completely out of the woods yet. Oh, wow, that lingered long enough to hit. What the hell? All right. Goes for the burn knuckle, light burn knuckle with a fast start up to try and uh, catch him a little bit uh, on, on surprise. But oh wow, the, oh, that was the max range heavy burn knuckle, and it's gonna be able to close it out. Nice charge rising tackle, able to connect, do some decent damage. Oh man, he could have potentially got a combo. Oh wow, he did not quite, he was not quite ready for that down tilt to hit right away. So because of that, he's able to up B out. Dingus Joe, oh, looking pretty strong. Oh wow, nice. Damn, that was some terrible DI. Not gonna 
behind. So now they have down tilt to up, up tilt to power guys. We can be able to close out the stock from like 50 something percent. Oh, forward air. Damn, that's going to close it out. Almost looking clutch. But uh, yeah, that's just, you got to watch out for the bucket, man. Can't use power wave in this matchup.